Not break the windshield on this board. Hello everyone, this is Wayne from Faith of Black. If you're new to the channel, smash the subscribe button. Why not? You're here anyways, right? If you're not new to the channel, thank you for watching the video. Thank you for being a subscriber. I'm back with another one. I got a 2016 Ford F-150 behind me, full windshield, visor strip, and a front match. So most window people that tint windows, or I'll say any window tinters, they know that the Ford mirrors can be tricky. Um, I've actually broken a windshield before trying to get the Ford mirror off. But when I do full windshields, I like to be able to take that mirror off so that I can get the, uh, the window film laid down behind that mirror, behind the mirror mount, and not have to put a seam in there. And you know, pretty much, if you have a $40 piece of, of window tint or you have a hundred something dollar uh, uh, window film full windshield, it's not worth a 300, 200 something dollar windshield. We all know that, this is not worth it. So some people say don't even risk it. But I found that if you do it the right way, you can get the mirror off without any crazy tricks, without any crazy pressure on the windshield. So I'm gonna show you guys what I do to get the Ford mirrors off from the windshield. So basically, I use a little chiseler, and then I use this little, I don't even know what you call this, this little V-shaped v thing. And these are two things I pretty much use and have had a lot of success with getting the mirror off the um, windshield of the Ford. So you could use another something with a handle on it or just a small little plastic hammer. And generally, once you have this in place and a little chiseler in place, you just kind of gently apply pressure with this, put the pressure on that, on that clip, and then slowly start to tap, tap, tap. And you'll see that mirror move. Once you see that mirror move, you know you're pretty much home free. If you're tapping and tapping and tapping and you don't see the mirror move, then just be careful. Do it a couple more times. If you do it and you can get it to go, then, you, then you're good. But if you tap it and tap it and it doesn't do anything, then you might want to hold off. Then you might have to splice it. But generally, I put, I put like something like a little bit plastic hammer or something and I'll slowly just slide it and you don't have to hit them with force. You just slowly just gently tap, tap, tap and you'll see that mirror start to slide up. Once it does that, then you can just take these away, grab the mirror with your hand and wiggle it, and that mirror comes right off. Like I said, I know that this is a kind of a controversial issue. A lot of people will say, don't even mess with it. Leave it alone. It's not worth it. But I typically found that the end result is better. You don't have to have a seam in there. And um, if you do it the right way, you pretty much can be successful. subject some window tenders will say I'm gonna do it and some say they won't me I generally like to try to do it before I say I'm not going to do it um, I tried a few weeks ago on a truck I tried to get the, the window uh, mirror off to do a visor I tried a few times I couldn't get it off it was just super tight on the windshield I tried with this one this is a 2016 a couple taps came right off easy so I always like to try to do that before I do a full windshield or a visor but like I said before some people do some people don't um, that's one of the things with the Fords. The Chevys and the Dodges is having a little Allen bolt. You take that off, mirror comes right off. And I heard now with the new Fords, they have uh, put a, a little bolt in there too, so they're easy to get off because this has been a problem for a while. And I think for a window tinder, we're gonna have to deal with a lot of older Ford trucks that still have that clip. So we will have to still try to do that and try to use that little pressure method, the little tap tap to get it off. So smash the subscribe button, like, share, give this video, video a thumbs up. Um, I appreciate everyone watching the channel. I appreciate all my subscribers. Um, I'm just trying to see if I can keep bringing content to you guys to maybe help, to try to inform you, maybe give you something else to think about, you know, and I got other things that on the way. So just keep watching the videos. Until next time, stay faded. Peace.